Hello, I'm ApiaX Toy Cat, and today I figured I would take a brief break from my streaming series where I'm building a house under my house under my house, and I figured that I would go ahead and show you a weird, interesting thing that they'll be fixing in an upcoming update. So Minecraft is bringing out 12070 soon, and one of the features in that update is that Fortune will now work correctly in a lot of ways that means it will match the Java edition. However, one of the pieces of parity they're bringing is sort of a bug fix and sort of a Nerf, depending on how you want to see things, because they are bringing uh, or taking away the ability for fortune to work on plants. So I figured that today I would show you how to use that if you want to. You've got probably about two days left to do so, and so I'm going to get myself a few more flowers now that it will cost me just a fortune pickaxe or fortune shovel in my case, rather than in the future where it will cost you full bone mill again. Basically, something's getting more expensive, and you know, if uh, in the same way that you might panic buy a bunch of, I don't know, toilet paper. Uh, if we look at real society, but if it, in the same way you might panic buy anything else, maybe you should panic buy some flowers because they are changing, and so let's go to the flower part of my world and show you why that is. So yeah, this is my flower drone. I, it was actually built uh, with the help of chat. I don't know if you can tell, but this was uh, actually, uh, you know, all, all the horticulturing was not done by myself. It was actually done uh, with the help of all of uh, your lovely internet strangers. And uh, if we go into it real quick, you can see that I've collected lots and lots of flowers here, but then I have a whole chest full of extra ones. And if you've never seen this before, let me show you one of the weirdest issues in Minecraft. I don't actually have a double tool flower. Let me show you one of the weirdest issues in Minecraft. If you use a fortune tool on a um, on a tool flower, you'll get multiple flowers back. It fortune, you know, fortune works on flowers to say, which is logical on one level. Like it is a tool that has a, or it has, it is an item that has a drop. But it's also illogical when you think about like, okay, so it has the fortune variability like diamonds do. But does it make any sense that you can fortune these? I think that's something you get to make your own judgment on, but any fortune tool will work, and so that's what we'll be doing today. Right after I go to sleep, of course, because as much as I want lilacs, I do want a good night's sleep first. Honestly, I think that one of the, one of the signs you're getting old that I've been tracking myself is the more you want sleep in your life, the more you start to prioritize it over other uh, minor things. That's the, that's, that's, that's the sign you're starting to really get to the point where you're basically an old age pensioner. So keep in mind, if you can live without sleep, if you're doing all-nighters, not even for any good reason, just because that, uh, you know, you're probably gonna live at least a little bit longer, and if you're the sort of person who can't live without their nine hours of sleep, just be warned, there's, uh, you know, the Grim Reaper's coming for you, as it does for us all eventually. Anyway, by the way, today is Mother's Day, so happy Mother's Day if you live in the United Kingdom. If you don't live in the United Kingdom, uh, then your country statistically, uh, you know, like, comes from the United Kingdom, and so it is you know, your mother country's mother day, which makes it your mother day too. Trust me, don't don't fact check that one. Anyway, so here's a fun thing. We can use this fortune issue on every single flower, which is real fun in my opinion. So uh, this is a rose bush. And if I use, it looks, there we go. If we use uh, the fortune tool enough, we get very, very good results. So the fun thing about this is it also is a stacking benefit. So if we want to, we could play seven in a row. And then we could use the fortune tool in all seven. And then our seven becomes 30. And then you know what happens to our 30? You can probably imagine quite fast. Um, it's a very, very out of control, powerful play. And again, in my opinion, it's a useful balancing fix. I actually agree. So in this world, you know, I've got a long history. Uh, it's called the Update Adventures, if you're not familiar. It's one of my oldest Minecraft worlds. Uh, one of the oldest Minecraft worlds, I guess, on YouTube at this point. Um, but the interesting thing about this Update Adventures is I'm very aware of updates. I, I follow them a lot for this channel. And so I'm always willing to seize a moment of arbitrage. The, you know, the ability to trade something now for something uh, much more... Uh, valuable and uh, so yeah one of the things that uh, uh, before they uh, nerfed golden apples I made a bunch of those in my world before they made enchanted golden apples uncraftable I made sure that I would craft a few of them because if something's going to become unavailable You should do it while you should which you know to come back to your point that you're making there uh, Pat that uh, like actually being uh, looking for sleep makes you a fully functioning adult There comes a point in life where you feel like you can't function without sleep And so you might as well take advantage of the time where you can I um you know, maybe you could make a similar point for like, uh, right now we're in this transition between, uh, you know, like, I don't know, like, uh, the, I, I guess, or rather a better way to put it is like, uh, we are moving into like digital cash or electric cars or like, uh, there's lots of things that soon the old version will be seen as like archaic and might go away forever. And so you might want to enjoy it while you can. If, uh, you know, that's the, 
the whole idea of Carpe Diem, but you can apply it to everything in your life. So I've already picked up three piles of rose bushes. I don't know why I have so many <laughs> shulker boxes on me. I did not do inventory organization before today's stream, but all of a sudden now I have enough rose bushes for life, and that's really really fun. I am think I think I'm going to slowly rearrange this garden by picking up two high flowers. But yeah, we can do the exact same thing we've just done with roses, which I'll now put in the flower chest. Handy place to have them. We can do the same thing that we just did with roses, but with the lilacs. I think this is a lilac, right? It is a... Uh, we'll confirm. It's, it's a lilac. I'm not wrong. So, um, will the uh, version release on Wednesday, says HF? Uh, it's oh, usually... So, here's a pro tip. Minecraft updates release on Tuesdays. Um, and beta, I, 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 to this day, it is, it's like an industry tradition that goes back a really long time. But Minecraft does follow it. So, if you want to know when a Minecraft update's expected... Try Tuesday. Also, yeah, I should mention this. Um, as far as I know, this issue only works with the two tall flowers. So here's a red flower. As you can see, I break it, I get one. I break it again, and I get one. And I break it a third time, and there's just the one. So yeah, that's that's how that one works. I didn't know about this about fortune flowers. We'll get on tomorrow. Is it just two tall flowers? It says uh, Polly E. Hey, convenient timing for that question. Yeah, so every, every flower that is two tall... Because Minecraft sees them in a different way, I, I couldn't tell you why that is, but they do see them in a different way. And so that's why when you break them, it has the fortune effect applied. It's because you're not breaking, you're breaking one of the blocks and so the flower, but then the other one has to break with it. And so uh, it seems to do some interesting things to the game. So as you can see over and over again, a lot of the times you will just get one flower, but the times where you get more than one, you know, they're glorious times. Like, look at this. Our six flowers are about to come. <laughs> oh, seven, 17 right there. It's actually interesting because I would go a step further to say that this isn't just broken because Fortune, clearly, at least according to Java and according to the update, uh, Minecraft don't want Fortune to work on flowers anymore. But also, the way that it works on flowers is different to elsewhere. So, Fortune 3 should give you up to three times as many pieces of loot per item destroyed. It's like, so one diamond can go up to four diamonds. It's uh, it's basically a tripling or quadrupling effect. But the way it seems to work here is you can get six peonies. Would you say peony, by the way? I call them ponies sometimes. I feel like whenever there's an out of place letter, just don't pronounce it and you'll do better uh, lots of the time. But yeah, sometimes you get three, sometimes you get three or one or it's, it's very, very odd. The distribution isn't as smooth as it is with other stuff. So I think there's something else that's broken under the hood there. Wouldn't be able to tell you what. Also, break the bottom blocks as a uh, Cygnus GA. So I'm going to test that right now, actually. I'll break this entire right stack. Are they even, actually? They're close enough to even. I'll break the entire right stack with the bottom. And then we'll break the next stack on the top. So, yeah, roughly the same number of flowers. Got me 52 if we did it on the, uh, on the, on the bottom side. Whereas if we go for the top... As you can see, my 52 is instead... Oh, uh, yeah, that is exact... Oh, wait. Yeah, so we we got... Um, that would be 13, I think, if I do my maths correctly. It is only the bottom half that produces the fortune effect. See, that's, that's, that's even more interesting because you'd expect it to be the reverse. But I guess when you break the top half, the block, the top, uh, the... When you break the bottom half, the top half forcibly... Uh, kind of happens. But yeah, so if you want to get max value from your shovel or from your hoe, here's how you do it. But then you'll end up with so, ma so many dies. But that's your problem for future you. So, I um, does this mean we can use fortune on crops to uh, yes or no chat? Uh, JJ, you can use fortune on crops still. It is only flowers that they are breaking. The, it's an interesting argument about whether flowers are crops, because we definitely treat them as crops in some parts of life. Uh, but not in this case. So now let's just break the bottom of these. And you can see, incredibly powerful. You're going to want to do this some amount in your world, surely. But even if I'll, I'll, after this update, just if you're stressed, if you don't, if you, if you are unable to play Minecraft, if you've watched this video after the bug has been patched, well, you know what? That's an interesting time to watch it. But um, yeah, even if it happens afterwards, you can still do this exact same thing. There's just a little bit of a catch involved. And so that catch is, uh, wow, look, look how many of these we have, by the way. But the catch is that you have to use bone mill to do the exact same thing. By the way, I'm now curious. Do you think it works on tall grass? I would guess that it, also it's pioni, pioni in Russian. You know what? Let's pronounce it the Russian way. Uh, slowly but surely we'll be Russified. Uh, by Dasha here. Okay, so I'm going to try tall grass now. Bottom? Nothing. 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 Oh, wait, wait, wait. How many how many seeds is that? Two seeds. Did I did I have two before? 
It's really hard to know, honestly. But uh, I'm, I'm going to break a few two, two tall grasses over here. I assume these are unrelated. Okay, so that was one seed. Oh, there we go. Yeah, fortune. <laughs> fortune works on on flower or the uh, grass too. As little need as there is for that. Speaking of um, things that are exciting, Rosie Pharaoh. So happy to catch a stream. Flower multiplication. Yeah, in, in Minecraft, your goal is to multiply resources, and there is a great way to be able to do that. By the way, you ever want to have a giant rose? This is the machine for you. I didn't build this when you could crawl in Minecraft, but it is very nice. This is, it's a way to make sure the, the rose doesn't get too much sunlight. Oh, wait, rose. Speaking of, uh, Rosie, uh, you ever realize that you're named after a rose indirectly? If you haven't realized, then I, I won't be the one to tell you. So, yeah, the list of other things that it works on is probably... Uh, quite narrow and honestly even using it to get seeds who needs this many seeds, right? Although actually I <laughs> I have to imagine there's a fun way you could really max this out like let's say you've got let, let's just imagine hi, entirely hypothetically um, Should I grab a bunch of pink dye? No pink dye is the least useful dye actually I'm gonna I'm gonna be quite critical about this. I'm gonna say I need zero pink dye in my life so I'm not, I'm not going to take the peonies. But lilacs give you magenta dye. That actually might be worthwhile. Thank you, Tracy Galetta, for 10 gifted members. What about torch flowers? Uh, it might work on the pitcher pods, which would be interesting, right? But I think torch flowers, uh, probably not. That would be my guess. Do, 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 do. You know, really lilac, if you think about it, it should give you lilac dye. But yeah, I'm going to unashamedly get myself a ton of magenta dye. It's such a pain to craft manually. And uh, again, in the theme of the update adventures, let's do something now that an update will make harder later. I, uh, it's, it's, you know, if you want to know something interesting, chat, I, uh, I, I try to be, uh, maybe I'm being too frank with you by sharing this. Uh, speaking of being frank, thank you again, Tr uh, Tracy. I, uh, I, I, I'm glad that you're having a, uh, a good stream here. I hope that it becomes even better. Um, but yeah, the, um, a whole harem of gifted wives. You know, it's ten of harem. You know, I, uh, also, is it harem or harem? It's, uh, it's an impossible one to know the answer to. But, um, yeah, I, I, I do, I did have some conflicted thoughts in my mind, chat. I was like, well, on the one hand, you know, it's like, it's the update adventures. It's like, I, um, I think like maybe many of us do. You have to work out, like, is this behavior that is in line with the rest of my behavior? Is this, is this, is this me, for it? <laughs> it's a, a kind of hard question to answer sometimes when you really boil down to, when you really work out what you are, it's a, it's a really hard time. But also, like, yeah, I don't, I don't think abusing bugs is good for Minecraft all of the time. But also, I think that when there is an update coming out, you should take advantage while you can. You know, it's, uh, it's, it's almost good, good deal sense versus uh, something else. Also, yeah, it works much better with the hoe because we can't accidentally uh, make ourselves some dirt. Yeah, I, uh, I'm gonna have enough magenta dye for a whole lifetime at this point, which is a good time. I. I don't know what to do with this much magenta dye, but I know at some point, future me will be so glad that the present me is doing this. So let's now throw away the crossbow, and then that should be enough to pick it all up. And then we'll take this all back home, and then once we're there, we can get back to our big project and be a lot of fun. So why does your member count change so much, says Wild Bill Miller. Thank you for asking. It's a good question. Um, basically, uh, previously we used to count, um... We've measured this three ways now. So we started measuring by just whatever the member count was and then adding when a member got added. But then um, because, you know, some people unsubscribe, some people have gifted memberships, the count was naturally fluctuating in a way that I didn't know how often I was meant to keep up to date with it, let alone, like, if I could. So um, that's where that originally came from. By the way, I remember this building. I built it to, uh, I think it was like every, for every member, it gets a block taller. You know, I'm, oh, I'm not for a member. I think it was every key ring. Which, fun fact, it was there for a free stream. But, um, but what's with the boat corner? You know, I'm going to have to go back now just to show you the boat corner. Um, it's, it's the fastest elevator for a big building. Like, who wants to climb stairs when they could use the elevator instead? So, yeah, let's, um, let's fly back to the world. Let's now, uh, get back to making my big current project. And, um... Yeah, the, so the interesting thing, we'll, we'll bring some flowers down uh, to the underworld of us, by the way. That way, if uh, anyone ever questions what's happening in the rest of the stream, we can answer it there. Speaking of answering, uh, thank you very much. I uh, hope that you are doing well, Emotional Wreck. <laughs> you know, I, uh, the, the name makes me question 
whether that could be true. I remember watching it live years ago when you tried to drain the never. Good man, good times, man, good times. I I think I was successful in draining the never. You know, I it, it, it's a live stream actually. You know, let's let's have a fun. It's it's Sunday. I I've been away from streaming for a few days, so I'm you know I've stopped being a, a semi-professional streamer and become a, a an old retired streamer, getting back into the craft. Let's let's take a diversion break for a second. Let me show you the tr part of the never that I was trying to drain. And then chat, you you tell you be the judge together of whether I did drain it or not. And also while we're going there, uh, two things. One, I am now using my new PC setup and I've also got a new webcam. Tell me if you notice the difference. To me, I look so much better right now. Like I finally set it up correctly. But I or like, I guess better in higher fidelity. I don't think I look any better. I think I look worse. Every day I get slightly older and closer to death. But I, I, uh, I've raised the, it, it should look slightly better because now, uh, this is like, I, I think it looks a lot better. I, the old one I was always, it, it looked fine, but it just looked fine. And I think this one looks on the better side of fine. I don't think we're in great territory yet, but we might be in good territory. I, um, so with that said, uh, yeah, chat. So, um, thank you, Emotional Wreck. Uh, just for you, I would like to go back and I'd like to, this is the section of the Never I drained fully. I made a little hole. It is surprisingly hard to drain a Never, by the way. And, um, pro tip, if you ever, if it's ever a project you're considering doing, you might consider not doing it. And then the other part of the never that you might be thinking of is back before lava was, uh, renewable, or infinite, or whatever you want to call it, before it was made, I wonder why there's glass here, there's got to be a good reason, but before they made it renewable, I was just over here, and every time I needed lava, I would fill a shulker box from this right here, and I was going to slowly... Use the lava to fuel my world. Also, haha, <laughs> memories, man. I'm glad. You, I, I'm glad it worked. Also, so yeah, I um, I've, I've been making a, quite a few investments into better stuff for the streams recently. A part of me, I, I I have this like weird resistance in my head because I'm like, oh, you know, you're spending a lot of money. Like, you know, you've spent like you know, hundreds in some cases just to make something look a little bit better, and. You know, part, like, there's a there's a part of me that is still the, you know, the scrappy 17-year-old. Uh, oh, oh, well, here I am, I guess. This is, I think this is what my world would look like with original generation. And it just sometimes comes through in a weird, uh, buggy way. But to um, come back to the point, I, um, sometimes I feel like the, you know, the scrappy uh, teenager version of me that's like, you know, if I just got 10 pounds, I would be able to have pizza anytime I wanted. That was the the biggest dream I could imagine. Um, I, I remember thinking like, wow, yeah, if you if you had, you know, free 300 pounds and you could do that every month, you could just live in a place. There'd be no honor, you know, you, you wouldn't have to worry about anything else in life because you'd have a whole place. You could live there. You could play games there. No one could tell you to stop. Um, I, uh, to this day, that's, I think that's the coolest thing about living alone is, uh, you know, or living semi alone. You know, you you get to be the master of your own destiny. Some days you make bad decisions, and but you have to be the one that you're accountable to, uh, which sucks on that level. But also, if you don't want to be accountable to yourself, then it's you know it's a future use problem, right? <laughs> okay, so now let's take all of the magenta and put it somewhere. Here Speaking of spending money, thank you. Play see, genuinely, right? I I look at that and I'm like, man. I, anytime I want now, Plague You, anytime I want. Uh, was it Plague You, actually? I felt like I said Plague You by accident just now, but I'm thinking it might be, might be correct. Um, anytime I want, and anytime whatsoever, I can just be like, I would like a pizza now, and a person will make a pizza. They'll hand it to another person, and then that person will drive it all the way to my door, and then I'll have a whole pizza. A whole, a whole pizza. Um, that was an unimaginable amount of joy, uh, to me. Uh, it blew my mind. It really did. I, uh, I do have to say. Anyway, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna convert a lot of this into magenta. I think we get two stacks per stack, so that's actually a big problem. So, stacks of magenta. Put the magenta in here. Um, I, I wanna make sure it's nice and early, just so future me can see there is some magenta in this box. Actually, let's make a magenta shulker box. When, have you ever seen a magenta shulker box? I don't think I've ever used one. It looks too similar to purple. 
let's make a magenta shulker box. And then let's drop our magenta in there. Yeah, this is this is this is good use of resources to me. In fact, we could even leave the okay, so let's let's get an absurd number of lilacs down. Um then let's turn the rest into dye. Or maybe just place them all in the chest. And that will be good. Also, magenta shulkers are pretty neat. Yeah, I I really do. I really do have to say, this is one of the better shulker boxes. Like, I I think blue is really nice, you know, chat. Should we just talk about our favorite shulker box colors for a string? <laughs> do, we, do we have anything else to do here? I, I don't know if we do. But, uh, so yeah, there's a... I think when it comes to content creation, part of me is always like, do hesitant on making investments. Um, I, I don't know, like, uh, one day you'll you'll regret all the money you spent on things that weren't survival. Also, wait, chat, no, wait. Oh, I died the wrong box. Whew. I was like, I thought it deleted everything. I just died the wrong box, but that's fine. I'll just die the correct box now. Um, should be easily done. I'll just put this there. Honestly, never use auto dying for shulker boxes. It never works the way you want it to. I have yet to, uh, at least it has yet to work for me, I should say, maybe to be more accurate. Um, you know, maybe it, maybe it works for someone out there. Maybe maybe there is someone who can attest to the greatness of the auto crafting. But I, I love the, you know, the automatic crafting of bedrock. And everything but when it comes to like dying beds or shulker boxes. It's, uh, yeah, there, there are better times to use it than that. How do you color code, code your shulkers, says, uh, Ram Perikemim. So, honestly, I, I find it works better to not color code for most things. Because, you, keep in mind, you can only ever have, um, yeah, this is an, I think this is enough magenta dye for a lifetime. Um, I, uh, ooh, let's, let's take this now and put it somewhere important. Nah, you know, it's empty, it's fine. Um, yeah, I, I think the, I think I'm going to have some great use for this magenta. And later I'm going to, I'm going to be so glad I did this. Right now it feels a bit kooky, but I, I can't stop myself. I said I'd stop and I'd work on the house and then, then you know what I started doing? I was like, but what if I need more magenta? What if I need enough magenta to make like a whole magenta box out of? Maybe that's where I should store my shulkers. So yeah, the uh, answer to the question of how do I color code my shulkers, try to color code as little as possible. Only the very most important boxes. So this is my sponge box. I, 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 I color code this yellow because it's a very important box in my humble opinion. Um, I think I'm gonna need a lava bucket for this. Oh, if only there was easy access to lava in my world. Oh, there is. Okay, well, ignore me on that one. Um, so yeah, I, uh, I use a yellow box for my sponges, and I use a, um, I have a red box for my red dye, that's a weird one. And then I think that's the only thing that I deliberately color coded. I've got a white box for my rare loot, so I've got this, which is the same thing. And then I've got a pink box for my cherry stuff, back when the cherry update came out. And then I've got a yellow box, but it always changes color in my inventory because of the dyeing mechanics. And so right now it's blue. Speaking of right now it's blue, thank you, Pilly Bull. Prove your scrappiness, please. How could I prove my scrappiness, Pilly Bull? What do I have to do to pro prove something to you? Um, took it attacks. I just bought your super flat survival. I love it so far. Took it as yes, says Joshua Lyles. Hey, I'm really happy for you. I You might be pleased to know, I hope. Um, if you love the console style uh, super flat, the next thing I've been working on, it's been the most time consuming project, um, I think of all of them, to be totally honest with you. But I'm really excited about it. Um, it's, uh, it's a similar throwback. And then I kind of exactly the opposite. I'm doing something to do with Bedrock at the same time. Uh, I've got like the very best. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm working out. Uh, it's, it's hard to work out, but I'm trying to get the, surround myself by the best people in the, uh, in the industry for certain things. And uh, yeah, I'm, re I'm really, really impressed with uh, with how that's been panning out for me so far. Um, appreciate all the people who have played, by the way. Um, but yeah, so with that said, um, has anyone ever shared uh, Maltesers when opening a share bag? I don't know why share bags are called that. They just make, they, they you guilt you. You aren't allowed to make this many comments about being old and chased <laughs> by the Grim Reaper when I'm turning 42 tomorrow in my back, knee, wow. and thumb hurt. Thank you for all the birthday wishes, Torchat. 
I, first of all, everyone, congratulations. It sounds like, I think it's not quite your birthday yet. It's almost your birthday, right? I, uh, just to make sure I got that right. If not, happy birthday. You know what? If not, happy birthday to everyone here. Just in case you're having a birthday soon, chat, I want to make sure you know that I'm happy that you are still alive. I, um, every year, you know, you get, you get one big opportunity to prove you are in fact alive. And chat, you have, you have passed the test with flying colors. Congratulations. Good job. Keep it up. I, uh, that's the best I can say for all of you. But you know what else I can say? I'm just gonna put a stone box in here. I- I feel like I shouldn't be storing so many stone. Like, I'm gonna eventually, like, load this thing up with too many of the wrong types of chests, but it's fine. We can organize this later. For now, um, we'll move this down a layer and that down a layer and put that over there. Perfect. Okay. Organization. We- we have a small semblance of it. Now we put the lever away. I don't know why I have 21 leather, but I, did I was it from killing the one cow? Uh, we're gonna put the three sticks away. Also, I've got some uh, some sponges. Make sure I gotta throw those in there. Um, but yeah, first of all, but to move the actual point that you raised, happy birthday, uh, Pat. And also, um, I think I think I am going through the. I, I guess really we could call it a midlife crisis and conclude that I'm gonna live till 56. But um, no, I. I just, I, it's just that thing of like realizing I am, you know, there's a, there's a bunch of ages. When you turn into an adult, people don't really immediately start treating you like an adult. For, for better and for worse. Um, and so you kind of just have this attitude of like, yeah, you're a pretty grown person. But you, you know, like that's, that's about, that's about as much as, as, as a society, we are saying less and less that 18 is when you stop maturing. I, I think that's wild. I think, honestly, I think 16 is when you're a... Is when you're a person, you know? Um, 18 is when you're less likely to be a messed up person. But, you know, there's there's a lot of very intelligent 17-year-olds and not very intelligent 47-year-olds. Um, and so, uh, you know, but the... As a society, we're saying, yeah, when you finish university at 21, you're still not really, like, you know, like, you, you, you've got some growing to do. And I think it's interesting the uh, the kind of difference in luxury we have between I guess, maybe you could call it like peacetime or wartime that when you have you know like when stuff needs to be done we're just like okay everyone is an adult to get the stuff done when when we're like yeah well we have more and more luxuries that we don't really need to do you can be more picky and choosy about like well who actually can do these things and that might make no sense to anyone but trust me when I say it, it's an interesting thing to me. Okay, so I've got a bunch of flint. I do need this flint chat. I, in, in case you're curious, I do genuinely have plans to place hundreds or maybe even thousands. Yeah, I, I think I said 3,000 um, fletching tables, but I'm going to need a lot of flint to do that. So I'm going to make sure I store that safely. And I'm going to put my lead away. And then we're going to go mining. Yeah. Although I've got some polished deep slate. I need to work out where that's going. Um, I could probably also do of bringing some dirt down, actually. So what if we take all of our full shulker boxes to the other side of the world? Yeah, let's do it. Let's let's in fact bring a couple extra shulker boxes. Because then we can empty it over there. We'll bring this orange shulker box. I don't know why I have it or why it's orange, but it'll be useful. So um, I love to knit. I'm part of a knitting group. I am still the youngest. The average age is 60. One of my friends who's like 24... Um, is really into knitting. Maybe that makes you feel better. I, uh, it's not actually called knitting. It's the different one that isn't knitting, but it's knitting to anyone who isn't into knitting. Um, I just got a crochet set again. That's what it is, Angelic Jade. Yeah, I think, um, I think that there's always, uh, okay, I want to be tactical of how I wear this. Also, I'm going to finally get the glass. I'm going to get some amethyst too, so I can, like, tinted glass it. I'm going to make this all tinted glass chat. It's going to be beautiful. But there's always a a culture and a counterculture. A lot of people tr tend to generalize that all of society does blank. You know, young people these days, or you know, not young people these days, or uh, whatever else. But I think the to try and actually be accurate. I okay, guess so there's a chest here, uh, and we're gonna fill these all up with uh, with the with the deep slate as we go. For now, we're just gonna move it all right into this though. I've got a, I've got a shulker box. Let's fill it up with 
I think tough first, but yeah, I just cobbled deep slate. Well, we, we need the cobbled deep slate, so we'll move the cobbled deep slate. And I'll move it from the top layer first because it's on the way back. So now I've worked out that I need tinted glass and I need some wood and then I need to mine a lot of blocks. Those are the big, and then some grass. Grass, tinted glass, wood chat. That's all I need to remember <laughs> on the way back. So we, we'll get that sorted. I have a friend who like, uh, but yeah, I, I think if, if so, so right now I'd say the move um, in anyone below the age of like 35 is moving, um, I would say broadly the economy as a whole we're moving towards experiences over, um, like, goods. You know, the there is only a finite amount of things that you can buy. And everyone's kind of realizing, like, well, but they're, you know, they, they're what they are. You know, like, but assets aren't sexy. But you know what is sexy? Buying a, a, a front row ticket to a Taylor... You know, having a night of, to remember for a lifetime at a Taylor Swift concert... That would be fun. I I can't imagine if if you're into you know that that then that would be fun, right? If you uh, if you look into basically anything else, people want to go and do a trip that is is hard but is rewarding. And it so the move is towards like experiences kind of broadly, and towards like very exclusive, weird, you know, like a uh, kind of uh, out there things. But at the same time, there's people being like, actually, you know, I would just like to to have this lovely little. Um, also, the Taylor Swift content tweet is here to stay, says Rosie Farrow. <laughs> you know, I I got really close to making that Taylor Swift but Minecraft video. I, I if, if, you, if you don't know the story chat, if, you, if you're confused as to why anyone would just say that set of words that I just said. Um, I, uh, I went on a, on a boat ride recently with a very wealthy man from New York. I, I was shocked by how casually he spoke about money. Uh, but like, you know, it's the it's the type where you really know it's true because he's not trying to flex about it. It was just like, yeah, I made a bad investment. I I bought a building at the Trump Hotel. I bought an apartment at the Trump Hotel, and uh, you know, went down from 900 to 275. Lost money in all four of them, and I was like, whoa! <laughs> I cannot imagine casually discussing a three million dollar loss. But I guess really, you don't know that anyone. I guess actually, to lose three million dollars, you need to have a lot more than three million dollars. So that you can lose them. Or at least, you need at least $3 million to lose $3 million, I guess is the, the way to, to accurately describe that. Anyway, so, uh, one of the things that he said, he's, he, like it briefly came up what I did, and I usually say I work at the bank, but with people who are old enough, I know they're not going to ask my YouTube channel, or they're not going to care if they do find it. So, I just, I, I, I briefly described like, oh yeah, I, um, I make YouTube videos, one of, the, one of the challenges is working out what's captivating on a week-to-week -week basis, while still creating content that has meaning underneath that. It's a... Uh, it is the chat, in the same way that right now um, I am sharing with you something, a useful tip about, um, you know, like building big survival projects while giving you, hopefully, a big headline tip about, um, you know, what is going to change in Minecraft in two days. You know, you'll learn about it if I make an update video then, but hopefully some of you will learn about it now if you wanted to take advantage. But then also trying to have the deeper thing underneath that. And so, um... It was interesting because when people are really far outside of something, they have the best and the worst responses about it, or the best and the worst intuition on it. Like if you ask me, how do you cook a Michelin star meal? I'm like, well, you gotta you gotta wow the people. You know, the experiencing is what I lean into. What if you had an NBA player who deliver the food? Everyone would be like, wow, that's incredible food, and they'd forget about how good or bad it was. Um, yeah, that's my. I, I I don't know if the NBA is even the most popular sport. I would guess it's probably uh, American football if you're in the U.S. But anyway, the the point is to say is that uh, that would be my instinct um, about how you would uh, about how you would do something in a restaurant. And that's either a really smart idea if you work in restaurants, or that's an absolutely terrible idea that I've just had. Also, tinted glass, wood grass. Thank you. Um, oh, it rhymes, by the way. Thank you very much, Dasha. I was entire—I'd entirely forgotten. I had zero recollection that there were even things that I wanted, and now I do have recollection. So then we're going to take our obsidian and put that away. I think I have a whole specific chest for it. Oh, I do. Heck yeah. So we've got a lot of obsidian now. I'm excited for using this for something. I—I I collected this the hard way, and you better believe that I am going to use it a good way. Uh, I can make a lot of enchantment tables. <laughs> I've got the books. I've got the diamonds. I could make a whole enchantment table building. 
Anyway, so um, yeah, I so I spoke to uh, someone, and the, the so the worst he gave me advice that was like, um, in my opinion, it's like it's charming, like it's an old man's advice on what to do on YouTube. I didn't ask for it; it was kind of unsolicited. But he's like, you should, you need to make content about Taylor Swift. Everyone's a Swifty now. Um, that's that's where that's where the money is. You know, this this very wealthy old man is like, uh, the way you make money is from Swifties. And I was like, oh yeah, I mean, I, I don't see that. And he's like, no, trust me, man. And, and then I then I met him like coincidentally, like a few days later, like just after a, at, a, at a beach or something. And he's like, yeah, this. He was like, he was real relaxed and chill. And he's like, the Swifties, man, the Swifties. What am I? <laughs> and I, to the, I, it's it stuck with me ever since because it. It's either that really, really bad advice, or maybe because it sounds like such bad advice and no one wants to do it, maybe it's this genius untapped market. Anyway, so uh, with that said, uh, good to see you, Diamond the Cat, uh, and also croissants. I um, croissants. Thank you for reminding me. You've got a um, <laughs> you've got a profile picture that is the amethyst geode. So you're reminding me that I need to take my amethyst geode. Uh, I've only got 49 shards, so I can make 49 glass, right? Chat, is that the ratio? Let's find out. Let's go to the glass box. Let's grab some and let's see how much we can make. Um, no, we can make blocks of amethyst. Also, thank you, Rosie Pharaoh, Swifties for Toy Cat. <laughs> so, uh, every tinted glass costs two. You get four crystals for two glass. I want a lot of tinted glass. Um, so, I'm going to bring a lot of glass with me and then I'm going to go to my local amethyst geode. And funnily enough, I'm going to use Fortune again. They haven't... They've been doing... They've been tweaking Fortune a lot recently. In the next update, they're going to tweak how Glowstone works at Fortune. I haven't confirmed whether it's for the better or the worse yet. Um, and, uh, yeah, so they're also going to... So the, our best case scenario is we get two whole stacks of glass. So let's just... Let's believe in ourselves. But we might have to, like, narrow down our vision uh, as this goes. So we'll take three glass grass blocks, and then we'll get our wood at the base. Awesome. Fun challenge for chat. Read the description after you read the title. <laughs> yeah, one of the one of the challenges on YouTube, if you, if you want to know, also, oh, chat, let's test it. I'm right here anyway. Let's find out. Do pitcher pods work? I would guess not, because it's one collective block, but we'll know for sure if we break it. I got one pitcher plant, and then I get... One pitcher plant. But if we try it again, one pitcher plant. But maybe this time we'll get one pitcher plant. So yeah, it doesn't work with pitcher plants because they're too tall, but it's a too tall block. Um, a way to look at this is if you look at a bed, it is like a too wide item. But then there are some that like are two separate blocks that mix together, like the piston, for example. I've got a bad feeling they're going to tweak mending. It says Angelic Jade. I think the way they were going to tweak mending was they were going to um, make it like harder to obtain librarian stuff. But I think they basically gave up on that. You know, too many people were mad about it, and so they've just gone fine. We won't deal with it. Speaking of not dealing with it, where do you think my minecart is? It always just seems to get stuck. Maybe if I like fly down here. Yeah, I'm just gonna go nudge the minecart wherever it is. <laughs> By the way, big fan of this idea that you can. Uh, that you can now crawl around in tracks. This is, every time Minecraft adds a feature, uh, there's like a headline reason to use it and a reason to be excited about it. But then there's the long-term like quality of life benefits. And this is such a cool one to me. Just running along a minecart track like this, being able to actually re re-detonate my, my hopper. I'll try and take the items out of it actually. That might be smart. Okay, let's go. Um, and then we just have to get out before it comes around again. So the reason I'm here on the bamboo farm is because I need some chests and I I concluded something recently Which is that if I just take the bamboo from this every time I need to make chests or crafting tables or anything I should make it from right here So block of bamboo becomes bamboo planks becomes bamboo chest. It's an expensive recipe But when you've got too much bamboo it's the best you can do. <laughs> Honestly, do I even have too much bamboo? Yeah, it's making me realize that this is this is the farm that I want to be feeding all day, every day. Uh, can you do this with cactus? You could. I don't know why you would. I guess for experience. I I haven't set it up yet. I might do it as a... 
I've been neglecting the idea of an automatic XP farm forever. But every now and then I get a shovel that gets to this durability and I'm like, I just, I should just have something there for when I feel lazy. I should be, I should do some effort on something I don't feel like doing now and that I don't want to do now so that future me can be lazy. It's how I, it's how I work in the real world. And it's how I uh, try to work right here. Can't wait for the autocrafter. Yeah, yeah, the autocrafter will actually have a use in this, in this farm. I'm gonna use it in a weird way. So anyway, like we uh, just found out, you cannot use the fortune flower issue um, on the pitcher plant. Hi, they IBS. Signed it Hope our stream slash stays going well. Also, think Mojang will ever create a way to play older versions of be similar to J? Would be I... cool to see not just for stuff like this, but also Nether Reactor, etc. First of all, thank you so much, Pirate Dad. Really appreciate uh, the tip. I believe first time I've seen one. I, I, I appreciate that a lot. But second of all, um, you uh, ask an interesting question. I um, I do think, uh, also one more thing actually. It said B and J, like G. And uh, anyway, I think it's interesting how uh, the auto text speech pronounced uh, Bedrock and Java. But the question you asked is, um, will you be able to play old versions? Also as a Telesis fan, I'd love to see a video. Thank you, Bianca McDonald. Okay, let, let's do it. Ash is on board. We've got, we've got our editor sorted. We've got the content sorted. Still can't believe you ranked the crafter so poorly in your 1.21 rankings video. Honestly, I stand by that ranking. I I think it's got a use in my world. I it might be like the crawling where I later I later come to think how I could live without it. And the reverse is probably true for the trial chambers. Like there could be a trial chambers right there, right now. And would any of us care about it? Like in this world, I I have enough wind charges. Actually, I guess I would want some wind charges. You know, I've changed my mind. Um, so um, you can actually play old versions of Bedrock if you use a third-party launch from Windows. So yeah, as far as officially though, um, that that is true by the way, can be. And uh, Pirate Dad, if you want to play an older version, you can. Um, you can also just download the older versions directly. It's, it's not what I would recommend. But it, it, the the problem with it is that. Um, yeah, it's not there and kind of just in, in plain sight for everyone to see. When Minecraft started with the Java, they kind of were very, almost overly friendly. They were like, have everything and then work out why you need to use it later. And it's led to problems that we've seen with like people using snapshots and not realizing what using snapshots does to them. By the way, I, um, I thought I would find some crystals here, but I kind of don't. And now I'm not sure what to do with my life chat. Uh, and also I, I remember I always get lost in this place. I've been lost here so many times before. I don't want to be lost again. I, I, okay, I'm going to find my way back. I'm, no, I'm lost forever, chat. No, it's back here. Okay, we found it. There is a second Amethyst Geode around here, but I think I'll just mine the uh, these ones. I'll use a Fortune hoe in case that changes something. Hey, it did. Somehow. So yeah, let's... Um, I'm going to break these ones just in case... Okay, you get nothing unless it's fully grown. So there's literally like two crystals that are worth something here. Uh, okay, yeah, that it's not, not the dream really, is it? It's not the dream. But now I can at least get 29 or 28 glass blocks. Um, so, um, yeah, I uh, have you recovered after the last stream mining ice? What an experience that was, says Phoebe. <laughs> I don't know what you mean about the last stream mining ice. I have erased it from my memory. And hopefully, so too can you one day. Uh, I'm just kidding. I, I, I th I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I, I've got to get back to that world, and it's hard, but I'm, I'm gonna do it. That's the whole point. Hopefully, we raise there. It did really suck though, right? Okay. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. That was. That's a lot of fireworks we have to use to get out of that hole. Didn't feel good. Um, so I have, I must have somewhere else near here, chat, another Amethyst Geode. I've not needed an Amethyst Geode until just now. I, I must have a good use for it somewhere. What do we reckon, chat? Also, firework efficiency 100%. <laughs> I know, 1,000 even, says a Harrison. Okay, so, um, I'd be terrified to do that with how bedrock, buggy bedrock is. I don't really have any concerns. I've got a totem on dying. I... I think you need a totem in a survival world as kind of insurance sometimes. That's why I think playing Bedrock Hardcore of no totem 
if you're curious, that's what I'm going to be doing when it comes out. That's why that seems like the the perfect way to really test it that way. Um, but yeah, one more time for Pirate Dad. Um, yeah, you can play older versions. It's not officially supported. I think Minecraft regret giving everyone everything on Java. And so they're really cautious about giving us anything on the Bedrock version. Uh, which, you know, has upsides, has downsides. Um, Fortune, uh, but yeah, I... Um, I, I, we could we could pin a message that just says uh, read the description. Hi, I'm destroy. I'm building a house under my house. Read the description if you're curious about the title. Okay, so I'll, I'll pin my message right now, and now everyone will know. Easy. The thing is, though, I um. So one of the one of the weird hard things to do as a streamer is like working out a good because this is YouTube, right? I am competing with videos. I, it's not people don't a lot of people who are here right now. Chat. Be honest with me. Were you looking for a live stream on YouTube, or did you look on YouTube and you found a community post, or you found this just on your homepage? I um. I want to know. Uh, let, let's do some market research, shall we? as to how you found this stream. So I can now make 32 tinted glass. And that's it? Yeah, I guess 32. Hmm. Less than I was expecting. I uh, have notifications on. Hey, awesome. Nope, just homepage. Uh, check my subscription section on mobile, says Pirate Dad. Um, you know, I want to know why you're a pirate dad. Do you, do you steal movies on the internet? Or are you like, is your son in Somalia? Like, it's... It could be either, right? It could be, you could be the dad who is a pirate. You you could be the dad to a pirate. There's just there's too many variations for me to have any certainty here. Anyway, let's now look. Let's now place some of the tinted glass just to see how many blocks we actually need per section. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh. Oh. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So 20 blocks gets me one of these. And then we go like a little bit more. This is basically all we get. And it would look fine, right? It would it'd be fine, but I think we want a lot more. I think we should aspire for a lot more. And so let's see if there's an amethyst geode anywhere immediately around here. Because I've been working on this so long, I guarantee there's a lot of... If there is an amethyst geode immediately around me, I'm going to get a lot of value from it. So we'll go up the ladder, see if we can find anything that hints to it. I uh, Also, I have that bell tick. Oh, also, it's so cool to see how many people in chat, uh, Polly included, who have their uh, notification bells on. It is, as a YouTuber, you know, the reason that people ask so much for it, like I, I know as a viewer it's probably obnoxious, but we're like, yeah, if we, if, if you don't have a notification on, you might just never know that we release a video. And so I'd, you know, I might spend all day working on something and then be like, oh, uh, but, you know, YouTube decided not to tell people about it. And people, you know, as they, if they weren't proactively notification belled, it's like, well, I guess I'll just try again another time. <laughs> it's, uh, I don't know. It's, it's, it's a part of YouTube, right? I, I can't complain too much about anything like that. But uh, it is why many YouTubers are like, oh yeah, please, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll sacrifice my firstborn kid if you just hit the, hit the subscription bell, please do it for me. Um, so yeah, we're, we're now making some nice progress here, I think. I don't think that's meant to go down a block, but we'll just have it go down a block anyway. And we'll also continue placing this grass this direction. I think. Um, oh, also this is I've, this isn't where the spruce go. I, I've made a mistake there. They go on the left side, because if they're currently going on the right side of the house, they need to be going on the left side, because the beacon is on the yeah. yeah. So, so we know for a fact that this is free wide or so before there's anything we need to worry about. And uh, yeah, look at this, wonderful. There's also some grass behind the house if we want to get technical with it. I don't know how technical we feel like getting today, chance. But yeah, this is free wide at a minimum. After that, I don't know enough to have a decent opinion. So I found your live stream uh, when you stayed at the hotel I worked at. If you tell my coworker you're a YouTuber, you told her your channel name. Oh, interesting. Uh, Dolvex Frazier. 
It's interesting because I stayed in enough hotels that that sounds real. But also, I don't think I've ever told a, co uh, a person at a hotel. So I think I think your co-worker has made up a, a good cover story. And I'm going to cover for her right now and be like, Oh, yeah, I remember. Yeah, I I remember going to that hotel where with the person. <laughs> it was a good time. I You know, real good time there, honestly. Glad I could meet her. Them. No, her. Her, you said. And I hope that I meet them again. Okay, so um, there's a chest that goes on the side of the house. I'm not precisely sure where, but I think it's like there. And then we put the spruce saplings down like a few blocks away from the house. I think we go down a block first, to be honest. So we'll remove some of these torches. And then just place some of that. I don't think it goes down immediately so harshly, though. Uh, and then it's definitely flat going back here. So we'll leave this relatively intact. And then we'll place our first spruce sapling down there. But the rest are on this chest for now. We'll sort it out later. Okay, so chat, what are you thinking? I My biggest thought about this is that the house... Because I wanted to do this centered on the staircase... The rocks to the right of the house are just very, very immediately attention grabbing. In a way that I don't think they should be. I think I... Actually, wait. Yeah, I think what I should have done... Is I, I'm going to have to mine some extra blocks that way. Just a whole section of the cavern. But before I do any of that, that wall at the back is going to move back uh, a few blocks first too. So we'll we'll place the dirt behind the house. Or we could leave it just going straight into tough. That's also a valid option too. Uh, the first video of yours, you were simulating extreme political ideologies on a server ever since then I was hooked on the channel. <laughs> you might like... Um, that's one of the weird, like, passion projects I do every now and then. Like, you know, on there's uh, there are there are ways in which you can, you know, I don't know, like, make money per hour spent on YouTube. And there are ways in which you can kind of just, like, I don't know, have some fun. <laughs> and so one of those videos that is very much the second one and definitely is not making any financial sense is coming soon. It's uh, countries in Minecraft, uh, but, like, redone. Uh, much bigger, much better. I hope. I um, I was looking up how things work in Minecraft. I came across one of your videos. I don't remember anything else. I like these answers we're getting, by the way. I meant, like, how did you find this video here today? But I like that we're getting these, like, this is... I, I always hate when someone does this to me at a business, where they're like, how did you find out about us? And I'm like, oh, I don't know. Maybe it's embarrassing. I, I, I Googled it. <laughs> I went on Google Maps, and I accidentally found this place. And I thought, that does fulfill the need that I have right now. So, I'll put the amethyst shards back in here, by the way. Um, I always feel a bit awkward about it. But also, so I, 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 I it's, it's the question I want to know more than anything else, chat. Like, I, I have a, I have data on how people subscribe to the channel. But not how people become, like, regulars or people we see in the streams. So, um, I, uh, what about pre-Columbian countries in Minecraft? Ah, oh, it's, it's been removed. Okay. No pre-Columbian countries in Minecraft now. So an interesting thing, chat, is they have changed fortune. Or that okay, so this is this isn't the main bug from the title here, but they've changed the way fortune will work on uh, melons. So right now, look how many melons we get per melon. As you can see, we're getting like uh, like eight, seven. I think that was nine just there. Uh, the average melons is going to go up slightly and be capped at nine. So you can for all of you people who wanna. Uh, craft crazy melons. Now you know for sure. Also, so I have geode quartz as a dash. Wow, that is that is incredible. I I didn't even go past it. It just kind of happened. I would love to know where an amethyst, where my amethyst geode is around here. Also, thank you, Pirate Dad. Was a nickname from high school. Was a nickname from high school, courtesy of my friends. Came from a pic of me wearing a pair of shades, missing a lens, looked like an eye patch. Also, my baseball cap and lanyard made me look like a dad. I, you know, I, the worst thing about being, like, I, I had a friend who was always getting dad zoned, um, you know, when he was going out with, uh, you know, trying to hit on the ladies, and I felt like it's one of the, I, I've got to imagine it's one of the most interesting things, probably does something to you as a guy, where you're like, wow, for some reason, I, I'm hitting on all these girls, and I am giving them advice about how to responsibly put their life together, I'm not sure if that's what I was here for. But maybe that's just how a relationship works, you know? I uh, I, I do have to imagine there's going to be some 
weird parts of how that will work for you. Also, let's let's grab the dirt back out. Actually, let's let's just make let's look at this grass to the left, and let's make sure we get it on the right just perfectly. So, if we were to destroy more blocks, uh, this goes down a few blocks, and then okay, so this is the left side. It's a fence. After two blocks, we don't have that right now. And on the right side, it goes... Ooh, it's a little bit more holy than I've been currently doing. But then by the time you get to the back of the house, it's like a lot less so. Uh, as for the slope up, thank you! My name is John for gifting five memberships. Okay, so um, as for this slope here, there is just a... Uh, it goes grass straight to wood. This whole area is wooded up to the grass. Useful to know. Um, and then it's just a normal-ish staircase with a thing coming out of it, but that's fine. I also have these cobblestone walls I have to replicate, but we'll work on it. Um, there is a kind of naturalish mountain that goes two, one, two, one, two, something like that. So, and then the blocks kind of just go upwards from there. I think I can simulate this quite well in my world. And then after like six or seven blocks, that's when the water starts to come in. Okay, let's do it, chat. Uh, I'm gonna bring some extra wood with me. Because I'm always needing more wood than I think I do. Now let's make let's make this happen. Thank you, by the way. Again, big big appreciation. My name is John. It's the uh, fun version of my name is R right there. I you, have you done some terrible things you've got to apologize for. Okay, thing number one that you should apologize for. Name being John. Thing number two is that uh, you should apologize for being so generous because I appreciate seeing you here on the stream. Hope you're doing wonderfully today. Love listening to some pig step. That's for sure. But, um, yeah, so now if I can remember anything that I just said, it was seven blocks to the right. Uh, yeah, I think, so this is grass. I think. Yeah, this, this is, uh, it's like this many, no, I've, I've entirely lost it. It was like two, one, two, 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 something like this. So now we know for a fact that this is all going to be destroyed. Um, and then we slowly destroy the blocks here and replace them with this. Easy. Okay, you know what, chat? Honestly, removing deep slate and putting dirt in its place is one of the biggest differences we can make on this, right? Cobble wall and lanterns. Yeah, I think the lanterns are going to have to come up sooner rather than later. Bit of a hard one to do, but I think we're going to have to, uh, regardless. Then this is going to have to be too tall to make that correctly work. And then we're going to remove a few of these blocks. I think at the end here... I got that about right, but then we'll just like shave this in a little bit more. Bring this down. Kind of like this. Honestly, yeah, there we go. And then remove these blocks and put some torches in their place. And then remove all of these blocks so we can put that stuff there. I kind of like that we didn't destroy the whole box first because now instead of having a hole under here, we've just saved ourselves some awkward placements. Big fan of that. Anytime you can save some work by being lazy, it's, it's a proof of why you need to be lazy. Also, um, yeah, I, uh, I, I won't be chatting or reading chat anymore. Everyone have a good day. I'm still viewing, by the way. Thank you for letting me know, Debbie. I hope you have a wonderful day, too. I hope it's for good reasons. Um, I, uh, okay, so now let's place our eight planks down. And hey, yeah. I think, I think this is what I got wrong. I think after the first set of blocks. It kind of like fades out a bit on this side, but it's, it's close enough for now. Uh, we mostly need to make the water over here, I think. No, the water, so that it's, it starts being grass until like seven blocks is what I think I worked out. So after that point, that's when the water sort of start, starts to come out this way. I think, at least. So now this is all going to be water from the other side. And all of this is going to have to go. But it's going to make one beautiful thing later. Sometimes you can target gifts, but maps gifts are always RNG. Um, so yeah, the way it works on YouTube is it's always RNG. It's based on how many people have uh, been here. So when, when my name is John, uh, gifted memberships, he didn't pick five people. Instead, he said that he wanted it to go to five people. And YouTube picks the people. Um, yeah, it's a, uh, it's, it's, a nice, it's a nice gesture. A lot of people like it. It's a cool way to, like, give back to a community in some ways. I think it has some issues I like YouTube to fix, personally. But, um, I, I still think it's a... If you, if you like to tip and you want to make sure the, the whole of the community feels it, it's a fine way to do it, I guess. Um, so let's place these now. And then let's, let's actually make a bunch more stairs. 
And let's let's finally work on this roof. This roof has been uh, lacking for a while if we're being if we're being honest with ourselves. So let's make it not lack. Oh, I didn't actually check. Yeah, I guess, but yeah, this is fine. So we'll just place that there, that there, and then remove that because it's in the wrong spot. <laughs> and then place it one block higher. So over here. There we go. Nice and easy. So now we've got the start of the staircase. I'll check it before I build anything more just in case there's something horribly wrong about this. And also I should probably put some, I don't know, like, torches up. It's it's suspiciously dark up here. <laughs> but yeah, look, looking good. Uh, we perhaps consider taking a picture of the above house and use it as a reference. Yeah, that's always the better way to do projects like this. When you're trying to make something based on something else, having a picture is always a better idea. Um, but I also feel like a picture wouldn't give me the exact measurements that I'm perfectly going for. But it would be better than what I'm doing right now. Like, kind of guessing to some <laughs> some extent. Let's now place a bunch of blocks over here. Because it's probably the more visible side. And then some over here, and up here, and over there. And so at least from some angle, the house will look fairly complete, I hope. Um, so, yeah, we, we I think this whole wall here is going to have to go. I, I don't know what to do about these caves, though, chat. I like caves... I like that they exist, um, but they also feel like they're, it's almost like leading you to go somewhere. Although, I guess these caves, you could argue, do the same. Should we just brick them all up, or should we leave them there as part of the heritage of the cave? <laughs> it's, uh, it's impossible to know for sure. I, um, so Cat's fancy setup is wasted on me watching in 240p. You know what? You can do it, Xavier. Watch in, watch in 720, just just for a minute, just to, just to see the beauty uh, that is my new webcam. You, you can do it. I believe in you. Yeah, it's funny. I used to watch YouTube exclusively in 480p. I didn't understand why people were so fussy about HD. Um, nowadays, I'd say I honestly barely notice 1080 versus 720. Also, Canby says, I notice add-ons on the marketplace have much more quality control than the rest of the content. It's been three weeks now, right? Um, I heard some murmurings they were going to release some stuff on Friday. Uh, but from content creators, not from marketplace people. So, <laughs> it's interesting that there's two different sets of information there. I uh, sometimes I get the little overlap between them, but it's it's usually just interesting to me. So anyway, um, Minecraft released add-ons three weeks ago, and since then they've just kind of not. I'm also watching 240p. You know, I don't, I can't believe you're living in the dark ages. How 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 is how is it over there, guys? You you enjoying watching this stream by candlelight? You worried that if you're, if you know, if you if the peasant outside stops running on the, on the, uh, the if the if the water mill stops working, I guess they didn't actually use peasants for energy in the dark ages. But you, you oh god, you you know, I, I it, it feels as though uh, you're living under some very tight conditions if you've got to watch in 240p. I know the internet is bad in some places, but like surely not that bad. Surely not like that bad. Um. I, um, sir, can I please have some more internet, please? I think internet is such an easily solved problem, too. Like, um, the whole of the world works, worked it out. Like, besides, like, South Korea, who charges, uh, the end user and the company for it. Like, they're, they're outside of a few places who, like, have messy deals with it. It's like, yeah, you just, you know, um, if we, if we ignore the, the, the deeper dive of it, you know how... If you want more people to fit on a road, you make the road wider, or cars, maybe, to fit in a road. The, the, the road gets wider and more cars can fit, whether they go faster or whether that's good for the... Ignore that for now. Uh, you can do that with data so easily, because if you want to get a, a gigabyte through a cable, it looks like... I don't have a cable on me, but it, it looks like a cable. Wait, I've got one. Here's the amount of cable you need... Wait, can you even see it? Here's the amount of cable you need for a gigabyte internet. You know how much cable you need for a terabyte? Basically the same amount. Uh, so there's like tier one networks that run the world. And they, you, you wouldn't, you don't know they're there. It's not that you need a big internet cable that everyone sees. It's not like electricity or anything. It's like, yeah, just this tiny little cable has all the world's data on it. Uh, also video just posted. Hey, 9, 10 PM. Good news chat. We're not, we're not horrifically late today. I've been, I've been working on a, on having the videos go up earlier, I 
It's, uh, it took like a while to get into the flow of doing. But every now and then, like, you know, like, it's, this is an internet issue outside of our control. I've upgraded to 480p now. Oh, so we can't mini motorways era revival. <laughs> I, um, I've been playing uh, mini motorways recently, actually. I, I, I didn't like it as much. Honestly, my, my hot take is I think mini metro is better than mini motorways. It just, I, may, maybe I'm just like a transport nerd and I like to just play a game where you just build transport networks. But yeah. Blame my house problems for the uh, lateness. You know what? We can blame the Dark Ages. We can say that Henry VIII is specifically conspiring against my live stream being on time. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I am surprised. Um, like, I, I, to be fair, just, just to be clear here, when I moved into my house, I had like terrible internet speeds. It was like a, it was one of the big disasters that made me like sit and just cry the first day I moved into my house. And I was like, what have I done? Why did I spend? This is, this is. This will be forever the most expensive purchase I ever make. And it's like, it was a pile of rotting, like, it was the worst house condition. If you want to live in London, you gotta, you gotta make compromises on literally everything, including the willing to live in a habitable house a lot of the times. And so, uh, one of the things was I looked up the internet, and it's like, how do you only get two megabytes in London? It's, should it, this, surely the city should be better connected than this. Um... It's crazy to me. Like, it's like people live out in the countryside and they get, they get decent internet speeds, uh, but you live in you live in the capital where there's a trillion people, and it's like ah, best I can do is about 1.5 megabytes. One of the when I, when I first moved into the house that I'm living in right now, um, it'd been like over over like 20 people have called this their home in the past five years. I get mail for so many names. Um, one of the worst, but try to, try to buy a house from someone who, like, uh, I don't know, like, they, they've lived in it for 30 years and they hopefully have their stuff in order so they get their mail directed. I get so much mail that isn't mine. Um, you know, if I was a nosy person, that'd be exciting, but I, I'm the sort of person who's like, I shouldn't open it. It's someone else's mail. That would be against the law. And so I have to, like, send it all back to the sender. It's, it's a whole thing. Anyway, um, it's central London. People overcharge and underliver, says, uh, Daniel King. I kind of take the opposite opinion. I know I know, it's like a fun thing to hate on cities to be like, yep, everyone just does the least they can. I feel like there's two versions of every city. And London, I'm like, I, I love it. I feel like London, people see it as expensive and uh, uh, undervalued. I feel like it has the best and the worst value. Like cities, by being so big, they have so much more of everything, and that means so much more good and so much more bad. And so if you see enough bad in a row, you'll be like, wow, this place sure does suck. And you see enough good in a row, you'll be like, wow, this place, I mean, it's, it sort of sucks, but not as bad as I expected. So let's put some cobblestone away real quick. Because I want to go bring all these buckets of lava up to the surface. I mean, there's, there's lava hanging out here. It'd be silly not to take it, right? And so when we're up there, I'll try and take like a screenshot or something. Probably save this whole thing. Also, for what it's worth, King Henry VIII wasn't the Dark Ages. The Dark Age in England was between the time Rome left and about 1000 AD with King Alfred. I always assumed, maybe I'm mixing up the Dark Ages with something else. I thought the Dark Ages was um, like 1200 to 1800, like before the Enlightenment. Is the Enlightenment just called the Enlightenment because it lit up the Dark Ages? Also, eight hour pub walk video, says Rosie Farah. <laughs> See, that's an interesting example of like, oh, this isn't my real furnace chat. I got tricked. Oh no. Okay, well, why why do I have clay in there? Was I was I gonna smelt that up? Chat. I genuinely thought I was in my house for a second. I was confused at the furnace. Okay, it's, it, if this house can trick me, then hopefully the house I'm about to go to can definitely trick me. That's that's promising. That is. That's very promising. Um, is it unsafe to walk around London with an expensive watch? I just want a real person to confirm or deny it uh, to clear it up. Okay, Secret Service G. Assuming you trust me. Um, I would say, like, if I was actually giving advice to a friend, I'd say, yeah, don't leave the expensive watch at home. In the same way you'd say, like, don't don't drive your Lamborghini to McDonald's. Like, yeah, you'd, it's probably fine, statistically. But also, of, of the places where it won't be fine, statistically, this is there. Or, like, um, you know, if you have a fear of heights, don't climb a mountain. 
Um, because most height-based deaths occur at mountains. Yeah, it's the it's the place where your fear is most rational, and therefore where you might want to do at least. Um, it's uh, if it's a very 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 nice noticeable watch and you're flashing it, you cannot do that in London. Which is you know it's a, it's a bit of a break of the social contract in a weird way. The like if you live in this city, you don't get to have a nice expensive watch and have it out at all times. Um, it's definitely something I think about a lot uh, as to why that is and whether that's good. The, spoiler alert, I don't think it is good. Ooh, I think some say the Dark Ages till the 15th century. Okay, I'm gonna look it up. Okay, chat, let's 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 do some fact finding right now. When when did the Dark Ages start and end? Oh, also, it looks like my I've been doing this wrong, chat. The the house is incorrect. I'm gonna have to go mine it all. It's meant to be like a too high wall. Oh wait, how does that work? How can there be a wall? Oh, it's because I build the wall, right? I not to not to go too uh, not to go too Trump on you, but I I build a wall, and yeah, so otherwise it's it's perfectly right. I'm also gonna get some jack lanterns down there. I think they'll go a long way. And so here is the shot that I need to replicate, chat. Uh, so I'll take a screenshot. Uh, do, 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 zoom. And now we can look at that later when we need to. So, um, don't scare us Americans like that. I, uh, also, yeah, I, I'm gonna, I, I don't understand the joke. But, uh, I, I won't have the money to travel for London for at least four years, at least. But, um, it's wild to think about, but delayed gratification is king. Yeah, I... I, I, I do think delay gratification is king. It's it's the problem that a lot of people get when they... Um, it's the reason money doesn't buy happiness, I guess you would say. Like, money buys a lot of problems to go away, but it can't create happiness out of nowhere. You need to... Excitement has a lot of layers to it. You need to have been thinking about something for a while. Um, it's kind of a weird problem that we... It makes you realize when you really think about it, we need things to be excited for for the future. There is a whole industry of creating things that you can be excited for, but that won't happen like right now immediately, so you can you can still wait and have, have a thing later. Okay, so let's get some cobblestone. It is on the fifth block, and then on the... Is that tenth? So six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So eleven, and then twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So it's on the fifth block, and then every six blocks after that, we have a cobblestone and then a lantern. It's on the on the one side of it here, but it's kind of like two blocks back on that side. Let's do this. Uh, would you like to go mining for some amethyst? Yeah, I would love to, uh, Dasher. If you got me some, if you got some corn, if you know where my my amethyst geode is, I would love to find it. Okay, so we're gonna take some cobblestone. And we're gonna take some uh, lanterns. I've thankfully already got a lot of lanterns. It's very nice to just have these around. I'll get ten. And uh, also, wow, Jasha has has delivered the geodes. Um, are these ones that I have mined, or are they just in the world? I, is that where you're? Uh, just just to make sure, like, can I go to the surface at those coordinates, or yeah, which which of those are like the easiest ones for me to access? But yeah, coordinate queen, absolutely. Uh, speaking of absolutely, slug creator. What would you want in an end update if we got one? Also, I'm Welsh. Hey, congratulations on being Welsh. Um, I, I love to see someone who is Welsh and proud. Um, <laughs> that's, gonna, that's gonna confuse some people at some point in this channel. Probably already, if we're being totally honest. So yeah, I need cobblestone chat. I don't, I don't keep any cobblestone around. Do I, should I just, I'll just mine some stone. I, um, I, let, let's go for it. You discover them while in caves? Not sure about the surface entrance. Okay, so, 305, 280, uh, that feels like it's over there, and over here. So I'll go, I'll go down to the cave. I'll quickly go find some, some rocks, and then we'll be good with it. And then we can take some cobblestone for, oh, cobblestone walls, heck yeah. Don't even need to craft them, chat. Oh, there's also just a bunch of cobblestone. A little bit too much cobblestone. Some cobblestone stairs if I need them to. So, um, 
Yeah, we're gonna run down and we're gonna find uh, our geode, which is, they're all in the negative actually, intriguingly enough. So this isn't the right way to go for them. So we'll go across the world and we'll see what we find over there. Also, um, to answer your question, uh, foreign, uh, the Secret Service Chief, uh, who asks our foreign language to land chat. Uh, generally not, because um, the chat is a... deliberately is in a language that everyone here understands, especially the streamer. We can't moderate chats in other languages. You know, it's weird. I thought about this for a while. Like, uh, the can't moderate chats in other languages is a valid reason not to. But it's weird that there are different reasons for things that people find different amounts of agreeable. And so it means that, like, oh, yeah... If you just say, like, yeah, I want chat to be in a language I understand, people are like, oh, why don't you just understand my language then? But if you say, like, well, you can't moderate that language, it's like, well, that's very reasonable. Moderation's an important thing to have. Also, what bug are we abusing today, says Bob Bob. Oh, the answer to that question is the cockroach. We're going to abuse so many cockroaches. It's going to be the craziest. Okay, so all the way at one positive 100, negative 215, negative 30. So I should have done this at the surface, but it's a fun thing to do underground too. Um, so negative 215, positive 100. There's going to be a geode. So negative 215 is over here. Oh, this isn't where I'm expecting to find one. Also, Dasha knows Toy Cat's IRL coordinates as well, says <laughs> Charlton Jarlins. <laughs> um, I, uh, who says everyone here understands the English language, says Jamo Croy. Okay, chat. Uh, could you type something in chat if you don't understand English right now? Uh, I'm doing a poll. I'd like to know how many of you uh, do not understand it. So we'll, we'll work out. This is a fair and unbiased poll. How many of you do not speak English from that one question alone? Boom. This is, this is genius of me right here. So we're just going to mine downwards like this. I'll use the diamond pickaxe. I guess really, yeah, we'll use the diamond pickaxe because I might need more stone walls later. Who knows for sure. And we're going to 130 minus 215. So we're going to have to... Oh, I need to get a block out. Ready for moments like this. So then we'll do a switch back. And we'll go this way around. And do the exact same thing. Um, do you think the Welsh should stop being called the Kymniach? I... No. No one thinks that. No, not even the Welsh people. Welsh people are like, Ah, yes, we have our own language. It's, it's, it's barely intelligible drunkness. I think that was a bit more Birmingham than Welsh, honestly. <laughs> but it's, it's how Welsh people be. Okay, I'm excited now, chat. I don't know when I found this Amethyst Geode. Uh, but I'm about to refind it. And so I'm I'm excited. It might it might be greatness, chat. It might just be. Or it might be terrible. I might have zero need for this. Sometimes you just don't know. <laughs> okay, so it's... Ten blocks away. Chat, are you excited? I'm excited. It's been a while since I've I found a new geode. And I don't think this necessarily is a new one. But it's it's still something. I don't want to mine the gold. I don't I I wanna come back with a better pickaxe when I can deal with this at some point. That time is just not right now. Um so it is yeah, one hundred minus thirty minus two fifteen. Oh, interesting. I don't think I'm there yet. I don't see why I wouldn't be there, chat. I think we have a coordinate wrong. Um, yeah, intriguing. Oh, I'm at negative 100. Damn it, chat. Okay. Whoopsie. Whoopsie doopsie. Well, you know, at least... <laughs> at least that explains why I haven't found the geo. Positive 100. You know what? We should be positive to 100. You're right. That's a, that's a good point. Is chunk based cheating or a reasonable thing like Max Gamma says normal guy 69? Honestly, chunk base is one of those real tricky ones to decide. I it felt it feels like it's one of those you have to decide for yourself. I um at least you got some gold. That's true, this gold is gonna be real good. Um I I think chunk base is a really useful tool. But if you're using it exclusively in survival, it feels like you're robbing yourself. But, like lo most things where you rob yourself, it's like you're allowed to do it. You'll realize why you shouldn't after you do it. Which is a bit of a shame sometimes, sure. So minus 215 is over there. 
We'll just mine starting over here. Are you drinking lemonade iced tea, says Darren Hughes' wife? Hey, Darren Hughes' wife, how's it going? I, uh, I hope wonderfully. I, um, I have a blueberry lemonade right here. I think that's what it is. I think it might be tonic water, not lemonade. Oh, it's this geode. Oh, no. It's, have I been going all this way? And then it's... Oh, it's that one right there. Oh, no. I... No, don't be true. It can't just be that one right there. I've gone through too much effort, chat, for it to be the same geode. This can't be can't be correct. Uh, so there's another one. At, oh no! Uh, how, how did I pick the one geode that I've already been to? I came here earlier in the stream. This is why you should know the coordinates of your own structures, Internet. <laughs> I messed it up. I messed it up. Okay, so um, hey, I'm knitting uh, Darren Hughes a sweater. I, uh, I, I think that's real cool. I, I hope that he enjoys it. You know, it's, I, I'd love to give you, like, some secret thing that, like, he likes that, you know, like, okay. Here's what you gotta get him for Christmas. I know, I, I, I think, though, uh, that'd be too hard for me to get. But yeah, real, real cool to see. Hope you're doing wonderfully. Um, okay, let's get ourselves out here. I don't know where or how, but let's do it. Also, chair stream for amethyst growth. <laughs> I the cool thing about the amethyst growing it was it'll, it'll, if I AFK or even just do anything nearby my, um, if I do anything near my, um, bamboo farm or vice versa, it'll all, like happen at the same space and time. Also, I can rest knowing what Toy Cat is drinking now. Ultimately. Aren't we all drinking all of the time? If you don't drink, you will die. Um, and so, you you might be a good two hours between sips, but you're still you're still drinking. You you still we're as as carbon based life forms. The one thing that unites us all is our need and desire. Okay, wait, maybe over here, chat. There's a lot of jingle jangles. Surely it takes me to a geode. No, just a slime block. Um, we've been asking in chat for ages. Pat asked you first. I didn't see it. You know, I, uh, I apologize, Pat. You, now you know. It's got a nice little lemon on here for the side. And then there's some blueberries in it, too. Honestly, I don't really taste the blueberries very much. I think the tonic is a bit more noticeable. But, um, yeah, I, uh, I didn't eat or drink enough today. And I was nauseous and had a migraine all day. You know what? Pro tip. If you just, if you just didn't do that. You'd feel much better. I I'm shocked by like I don't know. It's not a criticism, although actually you know it's a criticism. Why not? Um, the number of people who just neglect their first to the point of like absolutely dire results. It's like you you know water is everywhere, right? It's like the most abundant resource on this planet. We have more water than land. You could just it's not even that. It's like yeah, you got to go all the way to the to the to the store for water. Despite it being the most valuable commodity in the land, you know, because you die about it, we give it away for free. People who are like, oh, I hate capitalism so much. It's like, yeah, we give you choices of water to buy, or you can get it from your tap. And people prove that, you know, they have unlimited needs and desires, because they buy the, they buy the bottled water anyway. Um, and the, But you don't need to, but you can. And yet people... They could buy it, they could get it for free, they could get it anywhere in between. You can open your mouth in the rain. And there are people who are dehydrated. I'm I'm always amazed. Uh, that's not an insult. I mean, I don't think it's an insult. Um, what is your favorite fruit, says Sinan Farrell? It's never blueberries. I think blueberries make interesting drinks because I don't eat the fruit. People in Flint, Michigan right now, says free soup. You wanna know a crazy fact? Even if you live in Flint, Michigan, even if you live in, like, medieval... Not medieval. If you live in Roman Rome... That's why I couldn't say it. Roman Rome feels wrong. But if you if you live, like, hundreds of years ago... If you live in... A, if you live in... Even if you go to Southeast Asia and you... If you're drinking water... Uh, you know, if you go somewhere where the bacteria is bad for your stomach... Drinking water with parasites in is better for you than not drinking water. I guess you could drink beer or something instead. But you need, you need to drink the liquid... Blueberry flavor is top tier. Uh, Jesus, I've realized I've been dehydrated for the past week. No wonder I've been feeling rough. Um, you can get these bottles. I have one right here. Actually, let me see how well you can see this, chat. Uh, 
Uh, it's still not great, um, but you can see it. So it says like, it tells you to drink this amount of water in a day. I don't drink this much, but it's, these types of bottles are really handy if you've got like, I don't know, focus issues or um, uh, a deficit of attention perhaps, um, because it's like, uh, it's a reminder you've got to drink that much in a day. I, whenever, I, whenever it's the evening, I just get a big bottle of water and I leave it next to myself. Because you'll just, if you have water really, really close, you'll drink it more often. And the number of issues that can be caused from not drinking water. You know, you know it's a meme like, everyone drink water, Hydro Homies Unite. It's, um, it's like a reminder to me that, like, we as a society, uh, people, people say history, uh, repeats itself. I, I would say it doesn't repeat itself. Um, I like that it, I, I like the phrase that it doesn't repeat it, instead it kind of rhymes. Um, and it's because we, every time we solve a problem, we almost near immediately as a society forget how we solved it. And we just recreate that same problem again. And, uh, uh, you know, like, I, you know how we just went through, like, one of the worst inflationary periods, um, in, like, our recent recollection? We're gonna forget about that in, like, five years, we're gonna talk about you know, we own the money presses. We could just print money whenever we wanted. You know, we and then we're gonna we're gonna do it, and everyone's gonna be like, "Whoa, uh, higher prices are bad, especially for poor people." I didn't realize it wasn't just bankers we were hurting, and then we'll then we'll go for five years of like, "Thank God we won't do that again." Like as a species, we're collectively touching the stove over and over again, and there's something charming about that, but also like horrifying that we're gonna keep doing that to ourselves. <laughs> it's like watching a uh, a toddler, but you are the toddler. You're collectively putting your hand on the fire over and over again. And there's just nothing you can do to stop it, so you might as well enjoy it. Okay, so now let's remove the last few pieces of these holes. I think it just it makes the house look the tiniest bit better every time we do this. And given that the house already tricked me, that's a good sign. Um, also good to see you, Leanne. How are you doing? Um, the Aztec Empire had large cities with pristine clean water. And I bet there were people there who were forgetting to drink because they were so busy condu conducting human blood sacrifices. Stop indoctrinating the children if they can. <laughs> I agree. We should. I. I. No. I'm. I'm going to indoctrinate children. Touch stoves all the time. Anytime you're near a stove, touch it, and you'll go whoa. And then you won't want to touch it for a little bit afterwards. Um, if you haven't touched a stove and you don't know the joy that it is. It looks so warm. It's like wet paint. You see a wet paint sign, and what do you immediately want to do? We all know what you want to do, because we all do it. If you claim you don't do it, I, that just tells me that you you do it, and you, you feel shame about it. But you, you still definitely do it. Okay, so um, maybe add water at the end of the drop, so you can just drop into it. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Let's, let's do that. Um, let's take a water bucket. We'll need to bring a few waters with us. Or actually, just one will do, because we can move it elsewhere. Let's make a bucket of water somewhere. I, um... Actually, I don't know if I do want there to be water for me to fall into. I guess it looks ugly enough as it is. We'll... We'll put some water, like, right here. And then... Yeah, there we go. Then future me can enjoy that. It'll be great. Um, I resisted the temptation while baking today. I hope you baked something good. I want to bake. Um, I just joined. What buggy are you talking about, says Jenna? Good to see you, Jenna. Um, I hope you're doing wonderfully. I, um, the answer is, uh, it's the top of the description. It's, it's, so because it's a stream, we went through it earlier in the stream. It's, it is one of the problems with, uh, so uh, the point I was trying to make earlier is that you're, as a streamer, you kind of have to compete with videos. So you need to title sort of like videos. But how do you ever succinctly title a two-hour stream? I don't think there is a way. And so, if we ever have something that applies to one part of the stream, but not the rest, there's always going to be comments like this. But I think we just got to, like, learn to deal with it. As a as a chat, as a, as a group of people, hopefully. Uh, we can come through this stronger chat. Believe me, we can. Okay, so, um, I do actually remember... Um, okay, so we made infinite sources here yet? Hope we have... Okay, looks looks like we have. Place some blocks there, and then place a block over there, and perfect. Okay, so I um I believe I remember this. I've got some walls. It was the sixth block along that I placed the first one. One, 
No, it was five. One, two, three, four, five. There. And then it was every five, six blocks after that. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So we only have space, actually, weirdly enough, for two of these. And then these ones go two blocks inwards. So one, and then another. That's in the wrong place, but that's fine. We can just... Perfect. And then we'll do the same over here. And so that's that's how we put our lanterns on. we make a nice nice difference to how this is perceived. Just put a lantern over there. Lantern over here. Lantern over everywhere. Honestly, I, I think these are a little, little charming addition to the world. And then we'll, we'll go with another five blocks along this way, or six blocks. One, two, three, four. And then after... So on the... <clears throat> the way it worked was it was on the sixth block, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we can just put our thing on there anyway. And now it just it, you know it'll, it'll, it'll look like later if we do expand that way, we'll have the the infrastructure pre-built for us. We could also just build it into a tunnel already, so it looks kind of naturally like the world. Yeah, that might be a good idea. So, um, <clears throat> I, um, I honestly thought the whole stream was going to be about flowers. I was considering doing the whole stream about flowers, but I didn't want to do it just for the sake of doing it. I, I think that utilizing things when they are useful makes a lot of sense. When it's not, I'm not sure that it's so logical. So I think this is l right aligned in my house, but it might be left aligned. We'll place the rest of the blocks and then work this out later. Then we place a bunch more uh, wood everywhere. Easy stuff. Nice and good. And then we'll move up to the top floor. Yeah, okay. So, as you can see, the house is starting to take form. I need some brewing stands for that back right corner here. No, back left corner there. And then I need to uh, chop the block here. Where there needs to be a trap door or something. And then I'm going to need to put the bricks out where that's going to be. So, brick blocks. Let's go. Just because it is going to be very visible. So, brick block goes there. Brick blocks go here and here, just for now at least. And then we'll also finish up this. <laughs> I, I don't know why we didn't perfectly finish it before, but now we have a good reason to, if nothing else. And then we'll finish with the wood. And we'll have a complete house, chat. It's exciting. At least I'm excited. Try making a house never themed, but it's built in the end, says Logi B. How about end themed, but it's built in the... How about deep slate themed, but it's built in the sky? I, um... I may not realize... I, I realize I may not play Minecraft, but I'm invested in the game itself regardless. I think that's a very common thing. I'm surprised something about Minecraft is... A, it makes it a lot of people's comfort games. Like, even people who do not play it find it to be very comforting. And there's something about that that is fascinating. I cannot tell you why that is for sure. But I, I would theorize, uh, you know, if I had to spitball, that something about the gameplay is so simple, and yet it can create so much. Um, a lot of times, the most... Com a, a lot of games fall into a temptation to be complicated to prove they're like real games or something like that. Um... <clears throat> but it kind of creates it's it, it creates a very weird effect I think to say the least because you don't um you know like I, I think the the best things are easy to learn and hard to master not hard to learn and easy to master and minecraft is a little bit of that it's so easy to learn um you you pick it up it, the fact that it has no tutorial even though it probably uh, could do with one is proof that it doesn't need one. It does one through its own graces. It's Minecraft, Minecraft is kind enough to give you a tutorial. But there is no need for it to have one. It could do just fine without it. It just chooses, you know, out of pure kindness to the players who can benefit. So we'll place some blocks over there. And we'll just finish up up here. Looking wonderful. And then we'll place our planks up there. I think we should... I should have got my um, my carved pumpkin ready. I think that is my big regret right now. But it's fine. Um, and yeah, here we go, chat. 
Look at this. Welcome back to my update adventures let's play, but I am slightly underground. From here, I think the next big steps... Okay, so we'll place our wood there. And then... Yeah, I think I think from here, the next big steps are kind of challenging. I just realized I was paying 100% attention to the stream. Very odd for me. I'm going to play Minecraft while I watch. <laughs> I think sometimes your brain... I, I mean, obviously... Uh, do what you need to do, man. But um, sometimes your brain needs those moments of giving something all of your attention. Like, uh, we sometimes... <clears throat> maybe this is uh, too far. But if you if you have attention issues where you have to be doing two things at once, in the same way that normal people need to meditate, you know, like do nothing, like d specifically nothing for a while, I think you might find benefit from doing specifically one thing. I, um... I really like movies for that reason. Like, when you go to the cinema, there's no pause. There's nothing like that. You are immersed, you know, like, it's it's loudspeakers. Uh, it's actually a downside. But, the, you know, it's got loudspeakers. It's got, like, a... It's got, like, a big screen. Everyone is there to focus on this one activity. And so you kind of have to focus on it. Um, and so I think that's really, really handy. I think having points of focus is useful. Because your default state can just be scatterbrained all the way everywhere, and so I, 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 I if, if you know if this stream does that for you, that's great. Uh, like Cat Lord is using this as a background noise for laundry, value that too, man. Also, this is the first stream I made it to, so I don't know. It's a server of snake. Good to see you, server of snake. And this live stream, on these live streams, we talk about all sorts of issues, big, small, Minecraft, not Minecraft, life, the universe, and everything in between. But for now, you know, if, if you don't mind putting, put, putting you on the spot, what is what is something, uh, you know, actually, we can we, we kind, of, kind of broaden this. What is the, the biggest issue in your life that you're kind of putting up right now? Like, everyone has one of those. Uh, what is yours? Uh, I'd love to hear. I, um, I use Tuggets Lives as background sounds for sleeping. I've been told I have a very rhythmic voice, uh, Clary Frey. I'm glad that it helps you. Um, it's rare for many people to give 100% of their attention to anything anymore. Most of us are always doing something while we do something. It's Sometimes there are moments where that feels perfect. There are moments where that's exactly what you need. But you definitely need to cool down from that sometimes. Richard Montgomery, you're a lovely voice to cat. Thank you, Richard Montgomery. Are you, are you the fish man, or have I mixed you up? Um, I have to laser focus on one thing, and it's kind of difficult to switch to a different thing. I think it's... I, I love when that happens when it's something I need to get done. It's like, I will be focusing on this thing until the day I die. Um, it's like... A, it's, a, it's, a, it's a superpower. Uh, in my opinion. So, Toycat makes the best content regardless of what it is about. Thank you, Jam Crocky. Okay, so I'm looking for... Um, I'm looking for server snacks comment. But also anyone else. What's something that you're putting up? Probably need a therapist, but I haven't talked to my parents about it. I think... Um, I think a licensed person is always a good, like, step to go with. But, uh, you might find value in just, like, getting with some friends. Just, like, having a real talk. If it's, like, real deep, you should get a therapist. Speak to someone. You might find value in, like, a, 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 a half therapist, you know. The the lazy version of it. Maybe not for sure. I was cleaning my kitchen through that conversation. <laughs> um, can we appreciate how Toget's voice has evolved over the years? Yeah, I was thinking about this one recently, weirdly enough. It definitely has evolved, huh? I think it's, um... You realize projecting your voice is a hard one. You need to get your voice to the most people possible. And it's weird because I have a microphone here, so I'm not actually projecting my voice to you. But in my mind, you're all the way over there, and I need to talk to you. But it's like, you're right here. We, we could talk. We could talk pretty quietly. So, um... Let me tell you about something I'm excited about, Internet. I... I, um... I recently found out my favorite Australian Mexican place uh, is now in my delivery radius, and so I can get I can get cool burritos anytime I want. Uh, they're pretty cheap by comparison to like Chipotle or tortilla, um, and they're in they're included in Uber's forty percent off promo they always do. And so I I can get two burritos delivered for thirteen pounds. This is the this is twenty twenty four version of I can just order pizza whenever I want. I can just get. I can just get a burrito anytime, two burritos anytime I want, for the price most people pay for one. It's exciting. It's um, 
It's a good time. I'm feeling, I'm feeling happy about my place. Did you just uh, sat favorite Australian Mexican place? I uh, I don't know what your what your comment is there, Jeff Shannon. Sorry, I'm talking loudly again. You're right over here. We don't need to do this. I was considering actually, you know, would it be a good part of the vibe if my microphone's on? You know, this is what this is what all the people who do podcasts do. They let you you let they let you know where the microphone is. But I don't know. I, I feel like I feel like it's better if you just imagine I'm just here in front of Minecraft. Um, we can see a sliver of your mic. I uh, wait. Can you? No. <laughs> okay. So uh, by the way, thank you, Isabel. Hello again, John Toycat. Uh, the test went well, except me accidentally writing one thousand equals ten to the four. Oops. A thousand is ten to. Oh, no. Yeah, you're right. I the. It's really hard for me to remember that, like, to the power off means the zeros and not the digits. Um, it's uh, but yeah, let's 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 do one chat. Let's uh, okay. So ignore the ignore my my pop filter, uh, that's hanging off there. It's not doing a very good job at filtering any pops right now. Um, let's do a little bit of a, a late night with Toy Cat stream. Let's be honest. It's nine forty six. You're listening to Toy Cat up close. It's the power hour. At this point, we need to consider who it is that we are and what it is that we want to do. These are questions that everyone has to go through at some point. And honestly, sometimes I go through it myself. I think uh, I, I do one of the greatest jobs on the internet. But the only way that you can do this job is by consistently rechanging job the the job that i had three months ago is different to the job that i have today in the same way we had to shift from you know from console to bedrock and to make a huge decision there are things like that i have to do all the time i've been streaming a lot more recently in snap chat it's uh it's been a it's been a very very tactical decision it's uh it's allowed me many uh many an opportunity but here's the scoop it also means that I am now under those direct financial pressures I've always, always said is one of the problems with doing uh, something like this full time. Is unlike with a video where you know every view is worth roughly the same amount. With streams, you know, you, you go long enough without without tips and you're like, oh, I have now uh, not been... You, there's, a, there's a real stress you have to be able to be past. And I think I actually pride myself on being someone who can... Who can avoid things like that? There's a there's a lot of unnecessary stress in the world. A lot of problems are good at dealing with themselves. But uh yeah, anyway, did you enjoy that chat? How's it going, internet? This is me doing my ASMR with Toy Cat Hour. Here's the deal. Sometimes we whisper. We have the ability to do this. But why do we do this? It sounds like hush tones. It sounds like there's a secret I'm keeping from you. It's very strange, isn't it? <laughs> when my pop filter fell off, it must have dropped onto my stop streaming key. Whoopsie. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, I, I'm, I've gone into a pretty good place of this, I would say. I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty pleased uh, with the direction uh, we be heading in. However, at the same time as that. I also need to say, okay, so I've got a ton of blocks over here. At the same time as that, I need to say that I've done a wonderful job down here. You know, am I allowed to say that about myself? I am. I've done a wonderful job down here tonight. I hope that you've enjoyed being my therapy session internet. Um, and if you have, then, oh, am I live again yet? <laughs> Let's hope so. Hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, thank you for being here on the internet. Tomorrow, I think I'm going to do something very different. I, I, uh, I've been playing around with some add-ons recently. And so, uh, yeah, we'll have to see. But I've enjoyed this time in my Let's Play world. I'll have to get some more... Oh, this is so weird. I will have to spend some time getting some more Amethyst uh, sorted, as well as maybe some uh, more, more bamboo. But it'll be a lot of fun. So anyway, I'm looking forward to seeing you in that next live stream. For now, thank you very much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you there. I
It's interesting. No, no I, I think my, my stream is broken entirely. Anyway, thank you for watching. Have a good night. And I'll see you next time. Hang tight. <laughs> what does hang tight even mean? Like, hang on something and then, like, hang up it tightly? Like, tensely, maybe? Doesn't make any sense to me. It must mean, like... No, you, you, like, hang on my words. Keep the noose tight. Yeah, I could see that. Like, hang hang tight. You don't want to... You don't want to have the noose come off, are we? That'd be bad. Okay, have a good night, everyone. See you tomorrow.